Welcome, welcome to tonight's program. This, our guest, Barry Shaw from Jerusalem, is going to tell us about the news we never hear about in Sweden. Go ahead, Barry. Thank you, Lawrence. Um, well, unfortunately, I have to start off my broadcast with you with a bit of tra tragic breaking news because Israel breaks several um, uh, positive sort of records. But unfortunately, yesterday we had a tragic piece of news in that Israel um, buried a, um, the youngest victim of terrorism in the world. In when a four day old baby killed by Palestinian terrorists was buried yesterday. In fact, yesterday um, was the first day this baby was given its name. His name was Amiad Israel Ish Ram. Uh, the baby was killed when it was in the womb of his mother at a bus stop in Ofra. And they were subject to a drive-by shooting by a Palestinian terrorist by the name of Salah Barghouti. Uh, several people were injured. The mother was critically injured. She's still fighting for her life in hospital. But the baby was extracted from the wound. The doctors tried to save its life. But unfortunately, after four days, the baby died. At the same day as the baby was being buried, the IDF security forces were raiding a house in one of the uh, villages near Ramallah, and there was a shootout where the perpetrator of this terror attack at Ofra was killed. And as I said, his name was Salah Barghouti, and he belongs to a large clan of the Barghouti family, which um, is widespread in Judea and Samaria, or what is known as the West Bank, and notorious for four decades of terrorist attacks in which many Israelis have been killed. Thank you, Barry. And is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, can I end it with a more positive note? Yes. Um, I'm working on a new initiative. And the name of the initiative is the Global Coalition of Indigenous People United with Israel. And it's based on the premise of a recognition that the indigenous people of uh, Israel here in the Middle East were the Jewish people who were the originators, creators of the ancient land of Israel. This originated from a call I got just a matter of about two or three months ago from a stranger to me who has become a friend. And he is the, a, a Native American. He's a leader of what's called the Arawak tribe in America, who was in Israel. And he told me that the tribes of Native Americans in, in America, and also in Canada, are being infiltrated by Palestinian supporters who are uh, giving them a false narrative that both the Native Americans and the Palestinians are suffering from the same occupation, oppression, by European uh, colonialists who come to steal their land. In the Palestinians' case, they try and make out it was a Zionist. Well, of course, those that are in the know, those with some clear intelligence, know that this is a very false narrative. In fact, it's true that the Native Americans were colonized by uh, people coming from Europe. But in fact, the Israel, goes back not until 1948, but the history of Israel goes back to 3,000 years, as evidenced by the Bible. And I have, since starting this uh, reach out uh, for the Global Coalition, I've been amazed by the people who are coming to us from Africa, from Asia, from Australasia, uh, from America, from Canada, um, even now parts of Central and South America, what I'm short of right now is, is having the time to go into Europe and actually reach in to the indigenous people of Europe, country by country. Uh, the European history is a little bit more complex than actually the, the histories of Africa and a lot of Asian countries. It's more straightforward. Okay. And Barry, you're going to have a conference in Israel. Is that right? Yeah, you're right, Lawrence. Uh, my intention is that once we've achieved a, a representation from at least 30 countries on all four continents, then I intend holding 
the first international convention of indigenous people in Israel, potentially Jerusalem. And I think this conference will be of mutual benefit both to Israel and to these other nations who each one have a certain community, communal problems, whether it's to do with agriculture, health, energy or whatever. And this is something that the dialogue that we will have with each other of respecting each other's cultures and histories would lead to Israeli NGOs and Israeli ingenuities and Israeli agencies going into these uh, nations and these uh, communities and helping them solve their problems. And where can we contact them? That's a good question. What I would suggest people who can help in helping uh, bring us uh, to, in contact with some of the uh, members of the indigenous populations should send me an email to uh, the view from Israel at gmail.com. I'll repeat that one word, small letters, the view from Israel at gmail.com.